Before it became an alfresco garden and the landmark that it is today, Baluarte de San Diego was here to protect Manila at its bayside. Come and let's discover one of the most treasured attractions here in the walled city, Intramuros. In 1586 to 1587, a circular watchtower was built with adobe. The tower was designed by a Jesuit priest named Antonio Sedeño and named Fort Nuestra Señora de Guía. This fort is one of the oldest stone fortifications here in Intramuros. Because the foundation was built on a sandy beach, it became unstable and the tower was refortified several times. The upper portion of the tower was demolished in 1593, while the rest of the structure was integrated into a new spade-shaped bulwark. The rest of the structure was completed between 1653 and 1663 and is now known as the Baluarte de San Diego. The durability of the fortification was tested in 1762 when Manila was invaded by Great Britain during the Seven Years' War. The Baluarte was damaged and breached by the British forces with cannon fire. It was only restored when the Spaniards returned to power after two years of British occupation. But it was destroyed again and eventually abandoned after the earthquake of 1863. Rehabilitating what remained of the original tower within the Baluarte after centuries of damage proved costly. So, during the American colonial rule, they covered it with earth. This proved to be beneficial as the earth shielded the structure from destruction in World War II. While the whole Intramuros, including Baluarte de San Diego, was heavily damaged, the tower within it remained preserved. Because of this, the tower remained forgotten for several years. Until 1979, when the Intramuros administration excavated and exposed it after being hidden for decades. In 1992, gardens were added and it became a public park and events place rented out to celebrate special occasions and private functions. The 16th century stone ruins provide a unique backdrop, while the fountain and the pergola complete the perfect setting. This is an ideal spot to enjoy quiet time, especially in the early morning or late afternoon. The grassy portion below is the driving range of the 18-hole Club Intramuros Golf Course. It was actually a moat before and it was covered into a sunken garden and later repurposed as a golf course during the American colonial period. Club Intramuros is one of the oldest golf courses here in the Philippines and now operated by the Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority or TIEZA. The Baluarte used to have an overlooking view of Manila Bay and it served as a natural defense of the walled city. Not far from the Baluarte de San Diego is the Bagumbayan Light and Sound Museum. It narrates the history of the Philippines through the heroism of Dr. Jose Rizal. It is narrated with video clips, lights and sound effects, and moving mannequins. This public park, event space, and archaeological site is located south of Intramuros and has survived natural and man-made adversities. What you saw is just a glimpse of Baluarte de San Diego and of Intramuros. Come, visit us and experience the beauty of this historic fort through its ruins.